Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. This is the third and final video on bank reconciliations using Sage 50 Cloud, Sage 50 or Sage Instant accounts. In the previous video, we went through reconciling the month of August. In this video, we're going to reconcile September. Now, just to re-emphasize and clarify, with a bank reconciliation, all we're simply doing is ensuring that everything that actually happened financially within the business is showing on the financial accounts. So we're going to make sure that every one of these transactions that went in and out of the bank account in September is recorded on Sage accounts. Now we're going to do that by clicking or highlighting bank current account and clicking reconcile. We need to put the statement reference in again, just like we did in the previous video when we reconciled August. So we have statement 009019. So 009019. The end imbalance is 77354. 77354. Oh, let's just try that again. 77354. And the statement date, that's the last date, the last transaction on the statement. That's the end of September 2019. So end of September, 30th of September 2019. We then click OK. The reconcile box appears. The top box shows transactions that are already on Sage. And then down the bottom is those that have been matched, those that we've double clicked on to confirm that they're on Sage and they need reconciling. So we have two transactions actually appearing here, but before we tick or match these transactions, let's just check this last reconcile balance. So the last reconcile balance was 93647, which was the end of August. It's always worth checking that and ensuring that the opening balance matches what's on Sage and matches the, the previous statement. So 93647, that's perfect. So that's the first check done. Now we have a, a couple of transactions here. One is a bank charge for £7.80. That's showing on Sage 15th for the 9th. Let's have a look at that. Here we go, £7.80, 15th for the 9th. So we can highlight that because that's already on Sage. We don't want to enter that transaction again because it's on Sage already. If we enter it again, there'll be two bank charges. Uh, that, I, that are identical. So that's showing. So let's match that by double clicking. And then we have a sales receipt for £90, 28 for September. So here we go, printers direct, £90 received, 28 for September. So let's double click on that. And then there's nothing else showing. So if I click Save Progress, so we can come back to the statement later. So this transaction's on Sage, so is this one, but we need to enter these three here. So the first one is 5th of September, AA Insurance, £37.13. So let's enter that on Sage. So bank payment, and we're looking at 5th of September 2019. We're looking at insurance. which is 8204, and this is AA membership. It remembers it from last time, look. And it's £37.13, T0. Save. A transaction is now on Sage. If I go to Reconcile, you saved. You can see it appears at the top. Let's double click on that and save our progress. We can then highlight that transaction we've done it now if you're using a paper statement I usually just tick each transaction to show that I've entered it on the system on the sage system Google limited this is a payment received 72 pound on 27th of September so customer receipt Google limited 27th of September and we're looking at 27th of September 72 pound 
So I believe that's both these transactions here. £72. Let's click Save. And then go back to Reconcile. £72. Let's double click on that. Save our progress again. Tick that off. Highlight it, whatever. Just make a mark that the transaction is on Sage and has been matched. XYZ supplies, so this is a payment to a supplier, 30th of September. So, supplier payment, XYZ supplies, 30th, I think it was, let's just check, 30th of September. Okay, and let's say that was a BAX payment of. 280 which I believe is both these transactions again 280 perfect let's click save go to reconcile click on you saved now double click on this now you can see that before I double click on that transaction that the match balance that's that balance down here in this bottom box and the statement balance which is the balance on the statement 77354 you can see that they don't match there's a difference of 280 but once I match this transaction the balance is zero the difference is zero we always want that difference to be zero if it's not zero then something is missing either there are duplicate transactions or one of these amounts is wrong or the opening balance was wrong you have to do a bit of investigation but it's zero that's what we want so we can click reconcile the bank account is now reconciled for September and the next reconciliation will be for October. Now just to answer a couple of questions about bank reconciliations, I'm doing this monthly purely because there's just not many transactions, but you can do bank reconciliations weekly, even daily if you wanted to. Um, if it's a very small business, you might do it quarterly. It's really up to the dynamics of the business, but you know, what I'm trying to say is there's no um, set time period for reconciliations. I think monthly is good. If it's a bigger business than weekly, it is also very good. If you have questions about bank reconciliations or SAGE, then simply just go to services on my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com, and I offer email support for SAGE. So you can email me your questions and I'll get back to you by email. I also offer a one-to-one -one training series for Sage. You can learn from me directly. And I also have numerous videos for Sage on my website. If you just go to free stuff and then click on Sage, there's a whole page here for Sage Instant accounts, Sage 50 accounts. Loads of links for free tutorials, free courses, free videos that teaches you all about Sage for free. There's no registration required. It's all free, just like this tutorial series is. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this series has been helpful to you. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll speak to you in another video. Thank you.